Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and I'm going to show you how you can use a quick page and embellish it to customize it however you'd like to. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my quick page. I go to File, Open and then browse to the location of my quick page. It's a PNG file which means that it's a file with a transparent spot in it for to add a photograph. To add my photograph I'm just going to click File, Place, browse the photo I want to use and then insert it. Then I'm just going to drag the layer down in the Layers panel so that it's underneath this quick page. So as you can see I just have quickly created a page that looks quite cute. I'm going to save my work, file save as. And in the next video I'll show you how you can do more customizations to your quick page. So now I'm going to show you how to customize your quick page and embellish it to look super cute. So far we've just got our quick page and our photograph. So the next thing we're going to show you is how I created this custom title here. First thing I'm going to do is do file, place and browse to the location where the matching kit is. I'm going to then choose this little tag, click place. So now I'm going to edit the properties of this little tag to make it match the rest of the layout. First thing I'm going to do is add a drop shadow. So I'm going to Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings and add a drop shadow. Then I'm going to move the shadow around and change the opacity and other settings to make it look fairly similar to the shadows on the other tags on the page. And click OK when I'm done. Now I'm going to add some text in a similar style as well. I'm going to use the font CK Jot. I'm going to draw a text box about the size that I want it to be and type Emily. I want to make my text white, so I just choose this drop down and click on the white. Click OK. Now I'm going to use my Move tool to move my text. Now using Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings, I'm going to add a stroke to around the edge of my Emily. I'm going to increase the size of it to make my font a little bolder and click on this box to set the colour of the stroke. I want it to be green to match in with the other elements on the page so I'm going to just use this eyedropper tool and click there to choose the matching green. Click OK when I'm happy with it and then click OK. If at any time I want to go back and change those effects just double click on this little effects icon here and it takes me back to that dialog box. So now to make sure that I um, can keep the text with the tag, I'm going to click on the text layer and then shift click on the tag layer. Click on this link layers icon. And now I can move this and resize the text and the tag together. If I decide that Emily itself is still a little is a little small now, what I can do is click on the link layer icon again, then just resize my Emily until it's a better size for what I want. And there you have it, a custom embellishment that matches the rest 
of my quick page. So we started off with a plain with a quick page from Danny Mogstad. We added a photo and we added a customized tag. Now we're going to add some text on some paper. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is to place a piece of digital paper from the same kit. I'm going to use this chevron paper in this example. I'll just press enter. Then I'm going to cut just a part of this paper. So I'm going to use my rectangle marquee tool, select the paper, the area that I'd like to use and click on this add layer mask button. When I do that it cuts down my paper to fit that size. As we zoom in here you can see that I've used the same paper that's in the background here. So to give it a look of continuity, I'm just going to move my little section of paper until the patterns line up with the underlying layer. Well, that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to add some journaling. So I'm going to click on the layer I want the journaling to go above, click on the text tool, click and drag to create a text box, add some journaling. Feel that the journaling's a little hard to read on this pattern background. We can easily fix that. Just going to click on the pattern, then I'm going to click Add a New Layer. I'm going to grab my brush tool and choose my favourite watercolour loaded wet flat tip. I'm going to use my eyedropper to select the orange that I want to use. Go back to my brush tool and brush away. I think I need a bigger brush. Here we go. Now I'm just going to dial back the opacity a bit over in the layers panel. And now the text is just that bit easier to read. So there you have it. We've taken a quick page, added a photo, a custom tag, added some journaling paper, journaling, and there we have it, a beautiful scrapbook page. From this to this. Now you know why they're called quick pages. Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.